Well, with the holiday weekend on its way, we hear from the Department of Public Safety and a former DUI offender on why planning ahead before getting behind the wheel is crucial. Let's go to Kara Bracken, news specialist now with the story. Uh, Kara, important to remember at all times, but this holiday season, of course, a lot of people go out and about. Yeah, there's going to be lots of people on the road. Now, we're hearing from UHP, who says over the last five year, years, rather, the number of DUI arrests, they've been pretty steady. But this year, we are on track as a state to be uh, going over that 10,620 DUI arrests. I was driving drunk three or four times a week. Um, so I've probably, I've probably driven impaired 300 times and gotten a couple of DUIs. Those actions Jason Jensen describes as old Jason. He says when he was around 20, he remembers driving impaired. That triggered a snowball effect, including two DUIs in 2015 and 2016 following nights out at a bar. Trips to jail, treatment, and recovery. Now he's a youth counselor for recovery and celebrating six years of alcohol sobriety this weekend. I don't want to escape from my life. I look forward to every day. There's nothing wrong with partying or having a good time. Um, but plan ahead. UHP Lieutenant Zach Randall says this month they will have 280 DUI shifts that will be worked by 37 law enforcement agencies all over the state with watchful eyes for drunk and impaired driving. People unable to stay in their lanes, driving without their lights on at night, uh, making wide turns, uh, speeding, going you know exceptionally fast or, or even exceptionally slow. He says often DUI arrests come from stops for something extremely minor. As of July 1st, there have been 30 total impaired driving related deaths this year. If you you plan to drink at all, uh, then don't plan to drive. Make those arrangements uh, for some other transportation. And they do say if you see someone who appears to be driving impaired, your best bet is to call 911 and report that immediately. Dan, I'll send it back to you. All right, Kara, uh, sobering, no pun intended to see that and the danger that it poses. We got to be safe out there. Kara Bracken reporting. Thanks, Kara.